Oh, I just wanted to say too, for all the people that are listening to this, I've had an incredible experience with Ari over the last probably 13 months. We've been working together and he's really transformed uh, the way that uh, I, I'm a financial advisor. And so we've had to go mainly virtual with everybody over this last couple of years due to COVID. And so it's really about reprogramming my language. And, and Ari has definitely taught me a lot of stuff that um, I otherwise would not have known. Um, and uh, I, I realized uh, how terrible I actually was before I met Ari. And now I do feel a lot, a lot more prepared and a lot better. But um, I, I still, what really is nagging me, and I know we had a conversation about it today, is um, I think the other gentleman, a couple before, had said it. So the problem I've been having is we get down to the roadmap that, that we prepared together, and we go through the roadmap with the person. And the problem that I always get is, oh, you know what? We're looking for two or three other advisors. I got three or four meetings set this week, and then um, we'll get back to you. So after I go through the roadmap, I've already presented the fee. How do I line them up back on another call to get them to, to, to talk again so that we can solidify that on the calendar so that, yeah, if you want to go and explore the two or three other people, great, but let's have a conversation about it. I mean, how would you position that and what's the best way that you would um, do that? So does that come up at the end? Interesting. It's been coming okay. up a lot. Actually. Okay. Okay. So what I might say is this, if that comes up, that's resistance. We're right. looking at some other two other people. I might say this. I might say, may I ask, what is your number one criteria that's most important to you that you feel is a requirement to find the person you want to work with? What, what is that one thing? See, that stops the whole thing, Mark, and it puts the light, shining lights on the light on them, spotlight, to have them think about what is it that they're really wanting someone? That's not an easy answer because they think they're just shopping around. I'm shopping, having calls, getting information. But when you ask that profound question, what is the most, what is the one thing, most important thing? that will make the difference for you on the person you're looking for. I would love to hear that answer from them. God, would that be so interesting to hear that answer? Because hopefully it's something around someone we can trust <laughs> because that's what this is all about. And if it's something else, well, guess what? You learn something there that's missing in the conversation. So it's not about trying to book them to the next session. It's about get to the truth behind that smoke screen of we're looking at two other people. So as you know, our whole approach here is to stop the momentum, stop everything, call out what's not clear. So you know where you stand at the moment. And that will bring out a lot of things you wouldn't have known before. And I honestly, that would be the most interesting thing to hear what they say. In fact, try that. Let's see what they say, because that could we can learn a lot from that. So whatever their answer is, how do you then position it from, from there in order to... Okay, so whatever their answer is, I'd say that I really appreciate that. Is there something that I'm missing from today's conversation that you're missing from me that you need to meet that criteria? We're searching for the gap, Mark. We got to find out what is it that they need to say yes now? Why the shopping trip? Why haven't they chosen the other two people before you? You see, if we know that criteria, then you can say, do the other folks have that? I, I, I guess not, because that's why you're still here, right? Like, I'd rather address it right there and then. And then we'll take it from there based upon what you hear from people. But I guess the big, the big idea here is call call them out in a nice way to, that engenders a conversation to learn more about what's on their mind. So, so versus having to chase them now after the call, you know, because let's say they don't make a decision.